Bienvenidos Muses, I am back with a new video. Today's video is going to be about last night's red carpet looks for the SAG Awards, or for most people they know it as the 23rd Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. Now, before anything, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the little bell, so that way every time I post a new video, you are alerted. There will be a set schedule on my channel, so definitely stay tuned to that. I'm just trying to like flush these out for you guys so you guys can get sick of me. <laughs> but before anything, do not forget to subscribe and tu sabes, vamos a so last night's SAG Awards was jaw dropping. I have to say this is probably one of my favorite red carpets thus far. Only because I feel like, you know, I love when I see shapes, I love when I see patterns, I love when I see people coming out of their comfort zone. Not so much more about how, you know, looks, because sometimes people have certain styles that they just want to, that they are just used to wearing. For me, last night was just one of the award shows that I was able to see people really get out of their comfort zone and try something new. So last night, Taraji P. Henson wore this beautiful green aqua gown. I'm gonna applaud you, Miss Taraji, because Girl, you really came all the way through last night. I was so impressed with your dress. I loved how it was still sophisticated and sexy at the same time. Girl, I mean, you gave us a little bit of cleavage, but you also covered up the girls with the weight of the dress in your bust area. It was a plunging neckline. You know your girl loves a plunging neckline. The color looked amazing on you. It has a little bit of a turtleneck going on as well. It also brings your waist in, and then it just says, Boom, here I am. You gave us a little bit of a Cinderella look, but this was definitely not no G-rated Cinderella. This Cinderella was not here to play. I personally would wear this dress, but I don't know if I could slay it like you did. But Taraji, congratulations last night on your win. And I will say that you continue to just, just blow us away. And I cannot wait to see what you have cooking up next. Okay, so next we have Janelle Monet. Now, for most of you guys, Janelle Monet is one of those people who's a huge activist. When I think Janelle Monet, I always think black and white. Like, at least that's how she came into the industry. That's how I remember her. That's kind of like her signature look. The thing I love about Janelle is she always does it different every time. But we do know what to expect from Janelle. Janelle loves shapes. She loves to see, you know, some structure. She likes to get out of her comfort zone. I don't even think she has a comfort zone. Because this girl is always just going all the way off. Like, she reminds me of a Solange, you know? But definitely, she's in her own lane. So I'm not even going to try to compare this to the two different women. But I liked her dress last night. I wouldn't wear it because I couldn't get away with this. She couldn't get away with murder and still slay. But last night, she wore this beautiful Chanel dress. And it was all floral. I even love the floral cuffs. It kind of gave me a little bit of a corsage prom throwback feeling. I don't have any pictures from prom. Okay, anyways. Is she rocking two buns? This is what I'm talking about. She gave us like a little girl look, but she still is so sophisticated, classy, matching head to toe. She threw it off with a little bit of a plum lip. Brows look stunning. I'm a brow girl. Brows look stunning. Face is simple. Lip is beautiful. I think, Chan Janelle, you did, you looked great last night. And continue to stand up for what you believe in, girl. I love knowing that you have a voice, you have a platform, and you use it. So, kudos to you. Okay, so next we have Miss Sarah Paulson. Now, if you, if you know me, you know I love me some American Heart Story. I think she is so amazing in what she does. I love you, girl. I also love how classical she is. She last night wore this Vera Wang gown. I do think this is pretty simple, but I feel like it's still classical. It's timeless. It's Sarah Paulson. Like when I think of her, I just think of just a classical beauty. I do think that this dress is probably really safe, I would say, but I do love the way she is pairing it with this beautiful cape over the shoulder. Viola Davis. All right, now you guys know I love me some How to Get Away with Murder. I love me some Fences. Listen, Viola Davis is one of those women who gets the game. This woman understands her curves. She decided last night to go in and rock this Vivian Westwood gown. Oh my goodness, it looks so good on her. I, she can't do any wrong to me. I mean, she could legit get away with murder and still be fierce and she still is fierce getting away with murder on her show, but it's all good. We're not even talking about the show. Point is, she looks so beautiful in this clean satin gown. Bust area is snatched up. Those boobs are out to play. The waist is snatched. She just looks so stunning. Most people might say this might be a little bit too wedding gown-ish, but it's Viola Day. She can get away with anything, okay? So we're not gonna say that. She looks great. I think it complements her skin. I love the simplicity of that necklace. It's just perfect. You can't really go crazy with accessories when your dress is this just like, boom. I like the hair. Viola, you never do any wrong to me. I love the simplicity of your makeup. Let me just make sure if I'm missing anything. No, girl, you look amazing. 
Next we have Emma Stone. Now, Emma Stone, when I think of Emma Stone, I always think like free spirit, she doesn't take herself serious, and I can appreciate that because I can appreciate somebody who, you know, is young and they know that, you know, they don't really take anything serious, they're just having fun. I will say, Emma, this is probably not one of my favorite looks. You look great in it, I'm trying not to say nothing bad, I don't want to offend anybody, but I felt like the dress washed you out a bit, you know? I I feel like if it might have just been just the lace, it could have worked for you, but because of the draping and the way it was cut with the velvet and um, the lace, it kind of made it, I don't know, I feel like you were a little lost in the dress. I don't know if I'm a fan of the lace and the velvet with the embroidery of the flowers. It just came across too much. I don't even know where it ends, but Emma, you're a fun person, and I can see how this step, this is something that compliments you. You definitely like to, you know, get out of your comfort zone. So I'm really not mad at you for trying this dress. I personally would have loved to see you in something a little bit more that complements your skin color. But I do say, I will say, it did wash you out a bit. And I mean, again, the makeup is so flesh tone. So I really needed something to just like, you know, to pop out. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know your opinions as I'm going through these looks, but that's just my opinion. This is an, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this, she's wearing an Alexander McQueen dress. So when you think of Alexander McQueen, you're thinking Gaga, you're thinking extravagant. And this is, this is a, this is a work of art to be honest. Like I couldn't get away with this dress. Emma, I can see where you were going with the dress, but I probably would have wanted you in something different. Okay, moving on. Now from a fellow Latina to another Latina, Dasha Polanco, another one of the ladies who is steering the pot and saying I don't have to wear a gown to look beautiful. Girl, you just gave me life in this suit last night. I thought you looked stunning. I love the finger wave side bang. I love how you're exposing a little bit of the bust area. I love everything about this look from head to toe. She's wearing Forever Mark jewelry. I think you look amazing and your makeup, it's just so Oh, it's all matte tones, but it's still like a flesh tone on the lip. You know a girl loves a nude. So I think you look beautiful, Dasha. I think you can continue. Just keep making people uncomfortable. Dasha is going to be one of those advocates for women who don't care what other people think. And I can appreciate that because I feel like a lot of us get so caught up with what people love to see us in. And she says, this is how I want to see myself. And she's always doing it. No matter what time of the day it is, she's always like, this is who I am. She'll show up in a leotard, and she has, and she looked amazing, okay? Macy Williams. Wow. I'm not sure where she got this dress from, but I'll be sure to put it in the, in the comments, in the description box down below. She, I love Game of Thrones. I don't want to say anything bad about her because she's just, she's a young girl. She looks, she looks beautiful. She does look stunning. But she looks a lot older than what she is. Like, she, the hair is beautiful. I love, you know, old Hollywood. I love this vampy plum look. But I don't know if I'm a fan of it all together. Does that make sense? I feel like she probably needed a little bit of a warmer color to, re like, maybe like a ruby dress, a wine. I think that would have looked better for her. But the dress and her complexion don't work for me. But she is trying to give you like this classical old Hollywood look so I can understand what she was trying to go with the look but I would have loved to see her maybe in like a red satin gown that honey would have slayed you for oh listen but I don't know babe I'm not really this 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 look didn't do it for me this look didn't do it for me because this is another one of my favorite women in the whole wide world Miss Carrie Washington last night in a Cavalli couture dress this Cavalli Couture dress is just... No sé qué dice. Se ve impecable. She looks amazing. I just love the way it's off the shoulders. Her everything. That black smoky eye. The hair behind the ears. She looks amazing. She looks just like, like jaw dropping. I just don't know what to say. They beat that face into perfection. Like if you really see... And she knew it too. She said, I am contoured. I really want you to take over with your drag hand, whoever the makeup artist is. Kudos to you. You did that face. The dress is beautiful. I've also been a fan of the, the big sleeves around the dress. It just gives kind of like this like, oh, whatever. Like, oh, like she just looks... It's beautiful. I have nothing to say. I have nothing bad to say. Me encanta. Next we have Salma Hayek in Gucci. Okay, 
She's being fun. She's getting out of her comfort zone. Samu's used to being very sexy. You know, I, I have to appreciate a woman who understands that you need to push boundaries. I don't know if this dress does it for me. Yellow and pink. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not sure if yellow and pink is one of my favorite co color combinations and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Michelle Williams and Louis Vuitton. She looks so good. What? What? She looks so good. You guys remember my other video about my sequence and I didn't, wasn't really a fan of it? This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I mean, she's in sequence from head to toe. A sequence little neck piece. She has this beautiful V-neck line dress. I don't even think I've ever seen a V-neck dress. Yeah, a V-neck dress. And I love the sequence colors. Like, this could have been wrong. This could have gone really, like, you know, clownish. No. She looks so good. She looks so good. Sofia Vergara. Wow. I'm actually kind of shocked. She is wearing this, this Suhair Marad dress, which is different for her. I will say from a fellow Latina to another Latina girl, continue to be fearless and continue to be fierce. Pero no me gusta este vestido. Um, I don't like the length of the dress. I feel like it makes her look shorter. I will say this is a little bit conservative for Sofia. Sofia is definitely, you know, a woman who likes to, you know, always be sassy, always hit the red carpet, always slay. But I just don't know for me, this is not her. And I can appreciate somebody who's doing something out of their comfort zone, but I don't like the length of the dress. And to me, it throws off everything. Let me know what you guys think. But I don't know, I feel like I, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. No way, Zina. No way, Zina. Okay, muses, so there you have it. A few of my opinions on last night's red carpet looks for the SAG Awards. Let me know which one of these looks were your favorite. Did you disagree with me? Did you agree with me? Would you wear it? I don't know. I want to start up a conversation. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Monica Style Muse. We can chat there. Or you can just follow me here and we can talk here. I don't know. Whichever works for you. Lo quiero a todo. You make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah. Adiós.